Hello my dear children. So today I am here with a new topic of the same chapter transportation in animals and the plants and today we are going to read about transportation in plants. Yes. Now before coming to the topic, first I will tell you about the tissue and what are these? It is a group of cells that perform a specialized function in an organism and the tissue responsible in plants for the transportation process is vascular tissue. There are two types of vascular tissue in plants, the xylem and the phloem. Okay, now first we will see the root has root hairs in it. Okay, in photosynthesis we have already uh, studied that root hairs absorbs the water and the dissolved mineral nutrients which reaches the leaves for the process of photosynthesis. Now root has root hairs and root hairs is already there in the soil. In the soil water is there and mineral nutrients are dissolved in water which is absorbed by root hairs and through the root it will reach to the leaves. Okay. Now the xylem is a tissue. The xylem is a tissue which forms the continuous network of channel that connects what that connects the root to the leaves through stems and its branches. Okay. So what is xylem? Xylem actually forms the continuous network. It forms the continuous network of channel that connects the root to the leaves through the stem and the branches. Likewise, the water and the dissolved minerals reach the leaves. Okay. Now, the leaves at uh, leaves is the site for the process of photosynthesis. And what is the product of photosynthesis? The sugar, the carbohydrate, which we have already studied. Now, there is another tissue known as phloem. Okay. Phloem is a tissue by, by the help of which the food that is prepared in leaves through the process of photosynthesis is transported to all the parts of the plants. Yes, my dear children. Okay, so this was all about transportation in plants. It takes place through vascular tissue, xylem and the phloem. Xylem helps in the transport of water and the dissolved mineral nutrient and phloem for the transport of food to the, all the parts of the plants. Now, one more important thing I would like to tell you is about the process known as transpiration. And what is that transpiration? Transpiration is release of water through leaves release of water through leaves. Now water is evaporated through leaves. Once it is evaporated through leaves, it will just develop a suction pull. Yes, and by that suction pull, the water will be pulled to the greater heights in a tall tree. And what is that suction pull? Suction pull is a force by which plants absorb water and minerals from the soil and it is generated by the process of transpiration. One more uh, application I will tell you, it is the same pull which we produce when we suck pull water through sucking it through the straw. I hope it is clear my dear children. So this was all about transportation in plants. And yes, one more important thing I would like to tell you. In animals, we have already studied about sweat, sweat, sweating, okay, for the cooling effect of animals. Likewise, when we are reading about transpiration, it also cools the plant. So I hope my topics are clear. And yes, just recapitulate it. Just take the screenshot of it so that you will remember it nicely. Till then, bye-bye, take care, stay safe, stay blessed and yes, do not forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel Learning Science with Chetna.